TechRich here, here to do a video about Mozilla's release of Firefox 43. Normally when you release a newest version of a browser, you see minor changes, such as security improvements or, as we saw in Firefox 42, private browsing mode. But this time, there's a huge, huge importance put on 43, and that is is it is the first 64-bit browser offered by Mozilla's uh, community. Now, browsers such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, Edge, Safari, even Opera, have released 64-bit versions, but Mozilla has not. This time, Mozilla offers a 43, in 43, the 64-bit browser. Now, of course, there was Nightly that had 64-bit capabilities, as well as previous ones that dabbled into it, but they all seem to not be as flattering as this browser. Now, let me show you what a 64-bit browser means for Mozilla Firefox. Now, first is that 32-bit browsers are limited to 4 gigabytes of address space. Now, this can, can be a lot depending on what you're doing, but now that browsers are, and web applications are getting bigger and bigger, is that this can limit productivity or gameplay. So let's take, for example, the dot game. So let me continue. Let me play as guest. As you can see, I'm tech rich going around here playing as my dot. And this game lagged a bunch, no matter what browser you're using. But I could not play with Mozilla's Firefox 42 because of the lag that it produced once you get to a big enough size. Now, it, does, it has a tiny bit of lag like it should and how it, how it operates on many of the browsers. But it runs smoother as well as it seems to be faster than other browsers, especially Internet Explorer, but I just tend to, I just really am enjoying this a lot. So, along with this improvement, we have the improvement of block list. Now this, let me hit change block list real fast, is that you can do basic protection or strict protection to block trackers. Now this helps with one in privacy and Mozilla Firefox is known for its uh, privacy. You have all countless plugins that basically make it so you can set up a proxy so you cannot be tracked. Now this is very significant for people that use Mozilla Firefox for basically one of its major purposes which is protection of information. Now, of course, there are some minor changes as well. Improves um, M4V video playback. Uh, you, can, um, you can do better things with the on-screen keyboard for Windows 10 and other security uh, benefits too. The one thing I tend to enjoy is that on the awesome bar is that you can search using all of the all of the buttons like basically like basically one can choose what uh, search provider you want to do. So for example, if I chose kid rock I can choose kid rock with these now you saw something like this in 42 but it was not as significant as well as when you type in kid rock here you can uh, you can hit kid rock as well as if I opened up Google um, and then I searched kid rock
here and then I search Kid Rock, I can switch to the tab. Now this was a very significant type of thing and it switches a lot faster than what you would think. I tend to enjoy what Mozilla Firefox has done and I recommend anyone who uses Firefox to download the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit computer. It runs faster. It gives more address space and better security and 43 with other as well as 43 on 32 bit but the 43 that's offered now is that you can change your block list which adds more privacy to your browser so thank you so very much for watching this video i hope that you like and subscribe if you don't no big deal. I have a hundred right now, so hundred's good for me. Anyways, check it out. Download it. The download uh, link will be in the description. Of course, it'll probably prompt you if you currently have Mozilla Firefox. If you don't, I recommend downloading it too. It's fast. It's uh, supportive plugins are very well, and it seems to not take as much RAM as Chrome. And although it takes more than Edge, it seems to be a better browser than Edge. So, that has been my review. Uh, if you point anything out that I um, missed, put it in the comments. And last thing I would like to mention, though, before I give my final verdict is that some plugins currently do not work. For example, NPAPI plugins are basically not gonna work as Mozilla has also said that they will not uh, do it to any of their browsers after this point, but also that any 32-bit um, plugins might not work. So you have to, you might have to download the 32-bit version, but for average use as well as advanced use, this is the best browser for you, and I would really recommend it.